What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different uh, kind of with my Elder Scrolls Online videos. I'm going to start doing kind of housing tours here on PS4 for the North American server. Um, I kind of had this idea uh, about a week or so ago and decided, you know, I would like to go in and start touring people's homes. There's lots of different homes in game depending on, you know, size, you know, what kind of things you can decorate with and people are very, very creative. And of course I've been asking around in some of the guilds that I'm in, the guild that I own, uh, kind of talking about, you know, what would be, you know, or who would be interested in letting me tour some of their homes. And I've gotten a few people lined up. But if you're watching this video, you play on PS4 on the North American server, and you would like me to come by and tour your home, leave me a comment, and I'll kind of, you know, find a time to get with you and tour your house and, and maybe put it in one of the videos as well. Um, now, these homes are going to be, you know, just decorated kind of however, you know, how everybody wants to do it. And that's the thing I love about housing, because housing can be so creative. And, you know, the person that's building it, the people that are looking at it, can interpret everything differently and i'm just really excited to do some videos like this because this is a great inspiration for people to be able to uh you know be able to learn kind of how other people just like to design and craft things and it's also just a lot of fun in my opinion to look at look at different style houses in game so this house we're going to look at here of course is going to be mix's house this is one of the uh, guild members of a guild that i'm in library of dusk and of course they have the snug pod here in uh, Grotwood, which is, you know, a very small area, but I think this house is, is decorated very, very well for what, you know, the, for, for the size. You know, it's hard sometimes for people, I guess, in their mind to pull off something, you know, very unique or very creative looking in a very small area. But in my opinion, sometimes it's easier to decorate smaller homes and larger homes because you can fill up a smaller home and just make it you know, very cozy feeling. And in my opinion, this is very, very cozy. Of course, when you come in the door here, we have the uh, we have one of the uh, head mounts here, kind of looking over us, which is kind of uh, uh, ominous. Which I, I kind of like that look here with this. Of course, we have some different candles hanging around the doors for some good light. Kind of a nice little reading area with you know a little bench that you can sit on with some flowers around. Just kind of a very uh, homey feeling. We're kind of reading a nook. Some more plants here with some of the bottles here on the table, which I think is neat with the mirror. I just like the I, one thing about this house. When I first stepped in it, this was one of the favorites. My favorite things about it was this area right here. I don't know why, but that just looks very, very neat. It is very cool in my opinion. Kind of go over here. Of course, you have the bed, uh, the bed uh, area with a lot of the different plants, kind of just hanging here, just kind of up against the wall. Kind of a a cozy, relaxing area to you know go to sleep if that's what you know the, the design kind of going for in my opinion. So I, I really like that look as well. Of course, you kind of look over here to the opposite side. We have some more plants with some paintings. And of course, this is a hard place to hang paintings because it's kind of a domed shaped, you know, this room or a house. And I really like the way that they kind of just ran those up the wall, of course, with some light here above them to show them off to the light, of course, up on the ceiling. And just another, like I said, comfortable kind of cozy area just to sit around in and kind of just hang out if you're in this house. So the whole feel of this home, in my opinion, is just very, very comforting, uh, kind of cozy. And like I said, I'm assuming that's kind of the idea they were going with when this was being made. But I do really, really like the look of this. And uh, I appreciate Mix letting me stop by and check out the house. Of course, we're going to go on to the second house. I'm just going to do two homes this, in this video. I may do three or four in some, just depending. But we're going to have two homes in this video. So let's go ahead and move on to the next. And I'll see you there in just a second. All right, guys. The second house that we're going to tour here, of course, is going to be a, a member of my guild. And that is Shadow. Uh, when I first thought of this, uh, I started asking people, you know, do you have a home you'd like me to come by and tour? And, and Shadow was the very pers first person that said, yeah, sure, come by. Um, this was an area that, of course, we all know is the Cold Harbor Surreal Estate. This is just kind of a big blank canvas. So a lot of people buy this uh, home to put out, you know, tunable crafting stations and things like that uh, for their guilds or whatever the case may be. But Shadow decided to go with a vampiric uh, kind of castle theme. And I think this is very, very unique looking, very creative idea. Of course, you can kind of see the entrance here. We have some of the big mushrooms and you can never go wrong with big mushrooms. No matter what home you put them in, they absolutely look epic. But the entrance just kind of coming up to this area is very cool with all the you know, kind of just dark themed ideas. You know, Cold Harbor is kind of a dark, gloomy area. So having this here is very cool. The jack-o'-lanterns, of course, the Wraith of Crows and the Dwarven Dog Mount kind of guarding the area, the vampiric windows, a lot of different things you can dig up with the antiquity system here. Also, you know, we have some gargoyles sitting up top. Probably the best door in the game, in my opinion. I love this door in all my homes, so that's a very cool thing as well. You kind of go inside here, has that vampiric theme, you know, with the pool, of course, that you can get, uh, and the bat swarm fountain. Of course, you can get, you know, from the uh, 
the crown store so that's a neat thing to have enough kind of vampiric kind of styled house of course we have some different things here with some little statues of course a kind of uh a display box. I really like these boxes where you can put items inside of them. It's just kind of neat to have. Of course, a kind of little brighter spot, I guess you would say, or over here where the crafting table's at. Of course, some of the paintings around with, uh, you know, the cobwebs and things hanging off of them. And of course, another crafting table here with a brighter spot. I kind of like both of these areas, uh, personally, because it's, like I said, a kind of a dark, gloomy build with, a, you know, kind of a vampiric castle. But you also have these kind of bright spots uh, in, in areas in the home, you know, with the flowers and, of course, the bright lights and things like that. Of course, here uh, on, on the wall, we have the brains, the eyeballs, the heart, you know, just some cool looking stuff here, uh, you know, just kind of hanging around to decorate with uh, all the way kind of around the room, just kind of neat looking kind of gothic style, what you would expect a vampire to have in their home. So I, I really like that look. Of course, we do go upstairs. We're going to have a library over here on the left. And a lot of people design libraries differently. You know, some people fill up bookshelves. Some people decide to put books on the floor. Some people decide to put books, you know, sideways in the, in the, uh, in the bookshelves themselves. And it doesn't really matter, you know, how you decide to do it. Because any way you want to build a library is very neat, in my opinion. I kind of like the idea of having different li style libraries in all homes. And I like to have, you know, libraries in all the homes that I have. And, of course, if you were going to sit here and read, it would take a really long time to read all of this uh uh, all of these books that are available up here. So we'll go ahead and run outside real quick and kind of look at the outside area as well. Um, let me close the door up and, and turn the uh, and activate it again, try to leave everything as I found it. Uh, kind of over here on the side, uh, it's a small crafting station kind of idea. And once again, like I said, the housing is kind of like art. You know, everybody's going to interpret it a little bit differently, uh, you know, when looking at it. I'm assuming this is supposed to be some type of you know, like a forge, you know, with the fire stoke, the fan to keep the uh, the fire going. A little area over here for your mounts to hang out, maybe like a stable or, you know, something of that kind of, of that nature, uh, which is a really cool look. I kind of like this idea of being built on. And what's amazing about this, like I said, this is just a flat base area. And, of course, uh, Shadow has decided to build a structure here, which is a really, really cool thing. Uh, back here on the corner, we kind of have a graveyard with one of the, of course, target dummies guarding it, making sure nobody comes to disturb anything. If we go around the corner, we're going to have what I'm going to call Shadow's Torture Chamber. So I guess if you go upstairs to his bar, which we'll see here in a second, if you get too rowdy at the bar and drink too much, this is kind of where you're going to end up until you sober up. And I guess if you decide not to sober up, things could get really, really bad over here. But <laughs> I really like the, the idea of this because, it once again, it looks cool because it, of it being in Cold Harbor and that dark kind of theme. And I also like the mushroom kind of sitting over it, kind of like, you know, what you would use normally a big tree for shade for is kind of the mushroom sitting there kind of guarding or, you know, kind of just draped over that area on this side. Of course, we have some little small mushrooms, almost like a little small mushroom garden with some, you know, mysterious uh, dirt that has been dug up. I'm not sure if uh, shadows hiding secrets or hiding gold over here in these holes, but <laughs> I guess that's just kind of left up to our imagination. And then up on top, one of my favorite things about a lot of homes, no matter if it's a structure you build or a structure that's already in game when you purchase a house, a lot of people like to take advantage of rooftop areas, which I think is very, very cool. It's another place that you can put things, another place you can be creative with. And, of course, this is kind of just a bar-style, you know, serving area. We have some house guests running around. We have the, you know, the merchant, the banker, guarding all that gold. So maybe Shadow's not, uh, you know, placing all his gold in these holes. Who knows what's going on down there. <laughs> but, uh, and of course, you know, just a cool look up here with some of the different things you can dig up with the antiquity system. Just to kind of, uh, you know, show off when you come in. And the one thing I really like about having homes with, you know, things that, you know, kind of built on top of them is you kind of look around and see the whole area. So I think this is a very, very unique place. So once again, I appreciate Mix and Shadow for letting me tour their homes for this video. Like I said, guys, if you'd like to uh, like for me to check out one of your homes, leave me a comment. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.